So here we are, day two of my 100 days to Ironman. Yesterday I did a five and a half mile run approximately, and then in the evening, 45 minutes on the turbo. It, this morning my legs are feeling a little tired, not as bad as I expected, and my quads are a bit tender, calves seem all right, uh, glutes aching, but not excessively. Also had my body stat done yesterday, which was not what I expected, to be honest. It said my body fat was around about 20% was a lot higher than I anticipated. Uh, I, my abs are shown, on my, my top four abs are shown, so I thought I'd be around about 15%. And then I'm holding quite a bit of fat around the, the side and the lower part of my stomach, so I'm assuming that that's, that's predominantly where the fat is. I'm not holding any fat around my shoulders or my arms or, or my legs. So, yeah, so it's, I think I've got longer to, or further to go than I thought. But then that, I was reflecting on it last night, thinking about, you know, what, what I actually expected from my 100 days. Because uh, I knew it wouldn't be a, a walk in the park, I knew that there was going to be some more large obstacles to overcome. And my, my fitness level is, I'd say, Moderate. I'm not going into this from a complete and utter couch potato. You know, I do go to the gym five days a week. My diet's relatively healthy. I knew that it was a, a monumental task to take. I guess yesterday was a bit of a reality check for me in that I'm going to have to work a little bit harder. then I guess that's, that's to be expected. Um, you know, but it's, it's exciting. So the main focus over the remaining 99 days is, is to have fun, to enjoy you know, what I'm doing and, and learn predominantly about myself. Because again, I think we've become so disassociated from, from us because we're so busy and wrapped up with with work, with modern pressures, modern stresses, you know, family life, finances, uh, peer pressure, you know, a lot of external social pressures from how we should look, how we should perform, cars we should drive, where we should live. We tend to find segments that we, or places, I don't want to use the word class system, but we tend to put ourselves or place ourselves in that, in a slot, uh, and then we become complacent with it. And that's one of the things that I've always worked against, is to, to always better and improve myself, but over the last kind of year, I've been working on a number of projects which I finished prior to the 100 days, and I guess I became so wrapped up and tunnelled into delivering those on time that so many other factors of my life really, uh, not suffered, but were neglected for a while. So yesterday was a bit of a reality check when she said I was 20% body fat. Because at my peak fitness for a project I was working on before, I reached 8% body fat, and uh, about 75 kilos. So, that's a massive, massive difference. I think that the next, you know, 99 days is going to be a great opportunity to reflect more so about what I want out of life as well. And I've been catching up with a load of YouTube channels uh, and again I'll, I'll post all of the links as I have done so far you know, in the description below but 
you know, been looking at journeys and the people that are really truly inspirational, not necessarily financial uh, element. And again, over the next hundred days, I'm going to step aside from that and see what, or trust the law of attraction to bring me what is needed, what is required. But really reflect about where, what I want out of life. I'm only 34. I've got a long way to go yet, so for me it's about you know, what do I do with my life and really bring him back and reining in those thoughts, those dreams and aspirations I had so long, such a long time ago. I mean the Iron Man, I saw the first land to Rocky Iron Man 25 years ago while I was on holiday with my parents. So it's a real honour to be participating in the 25 year anniversary. You know, it's something I've always said I would do, but never got, got around to it and made plenty of excuses why it wasn't the right time. So now it's about you know, revisiting some of those childhood dreams, aspirations and seeing what I might want to do after this, and how I'm going to tackle life, work with life, and see what arises. Last February, so over a, just over a year ago, I was in Costa Rica, and uh, that was a pretty big wake-up call. I stayed in an eco-village some people I know and you know you could say talk about living a dream they're certainly doing that you know that they've built a community there that are well just their, their minds are just so expanded I vowed to myself when I got back to this country to to really make some changes and I have I have made a lot of changes I've made, I've completed a lot of things that needed completing and revisited some aspects. So I think I'm on that journey now, on that second stage. Using the, the Ironman training to do more than just increase my physical fitness, uh, but also my, my mindful fitness, my mindful well-being let some stuff go uh, but also develop you know develop that area that hasn't been dealt with touched for some time so today I've got a 1500 meter swim in the pool, which I'm going to divide up into 250 meters. Uh, it's the longest swim that I've ever done. Obviously, it's not uh, without break. I'm aim for around about 25 seconds, 30 second break in between those sets. see how I get on there and then this evening well, Thursday is actually my favourite day to have yoga on a Thursday I have uh, this evening I have 45 minutes on the bike at the gym and I will probably do I think on, on my plan my schedule is uh, a bit of resistance and hit work there so high RPM and then uh, a bit of an incline so that's 45 minutes and then at 7 30 i've got yoga until nine and yoga i've been doing now for around about 12 weeks once a week may up it to twice a week in the next couple of weeks depending on how my body is how i'm feeling so far, the yoga uh, 
was really highlighting aspects of my body that needed work. A couple of years ago I had a bit of a, a back problem, uh, an old injury re, uh, re-highlighting or coming to light again. And when I saw the physiotherapist, she said that my body was very much aligned to going forward. There wasn't much flexibility to the left and to the right, which was interesting because that could be reflected into my uh, my life as a whole. So I started yoga, and again, it just really confirmed that my flexibility to my left and right. My peripherals weren't as uh, tuned as my direction, my forward focus direction. So it's been a real wake up call, it's been really interesting, uh, and yeah, there's been some significant learnings there. I'm very fortunate, I've got a really good teacher, she's very hands on and uh, works with you where she sees or where there is issues, so she highlights those. I can't really ever see now yoga not being part of my my training or day-to-day life or weekly life. It's it's fantastic. And I, it's one thing that I highly recommend. If there's anything so far that I've experienced or, or learned, I would take up yoga or Pilates or something that really works with those smaller muscle groups that you can't thrash out in the gym. And not only that, it offers a real good time in the week, a dedicated you know hour and a half or two hours to to stretching. Although, you know, I stretch at, at every opportunity, every exercise, before every set and after, uh, the the yoga is, is fantastic. As I said, it's that, that time out that sometimes we kind of take for granted that isn't incorporated into our into our training schedule. I mean, I don't think actually I've ever seen a training schedule where there's you know, you see like a 45 minutes for bike, an hour for, for the run, you know, certain sets for the swim, but I've never seen a session dedicated predominantly just to stretching. Uh, this may be the first, but, but yoga certainly, you know, either as an add-on, a bolt-on, or, or as part of, of you know, your, your training. I think it's a must, it's something that every athlete Bodybuilder to marathon runner really should be uh, utilising. I got a, uh, a message from a friend of mine on Facebook yesterday. If you're not following my Facebook page, uh, check it out. And they said, "Why?" A big question mark. I didn't really know how to take that. I didn't know whether they meant why am I publicising it sending this out there, why am I recording it, why am I doing it, and again I meditated on that a little bit yesterday, just thought about what they meant, now knowing that individual, and I'm not naming names, they're very regimented in their approach towards things, so anything that seems in their life is conditional, there has to be an ulterior motive that works perfectly to their, their career choice. But what I find sometimes is that adds a lot of resistance and uh, scepticism by people who are doing stuff. And I think I've said this already, I'm not pro-athlete, you know, I'm not giving advice here, I'm just documenting my journey. And the answer to the why can can be spent on hours, you know, childhood dream, realising a dream, achieving the impossible, you know, doing something that isn't really normal, pushing the body, running away from something, looking to achieve something, improving, I mean you, you, the list is endless, um, but in a nutshell, it's because I want to. Just completed a 1500 meter swim, took about uh, just over 30 minutes so I'm really pleased with that really good um, exercise feel uh, happy with that's the longest I've ever swam 
and yeah, it was uh, it was it was an interesting process. Just had a banana, a quick banana to refuel, and then uh, just off home now to uh, get some more food on the go, ready for this afternoon's cycle and yoga session. So I'm just about to make a garlic chili chicken, real simple to do. A couple of chicken breasts, uh, some garlic, just throw it all in, some uh, chopped ginger, tomato, quite a lot of onion. Obviously pre-chopped. Uh, herbs and spices. We've got hot chilli powder, a bit of cumin, crushed chillies. I'm going to add in two cups of water. And half a tub of uh, tomato puree. Give it a good old stir. leave for four hours. It's as simple as that. So this is lunch, uh, mostly leftovers from yesterday to be honest. Uh, sweet potatoes that were slow cooked yesterday, some chicken, balsamic glaze, uh, some lettuce and some seeds uh, topped with a bit of onion and garlic powder. Nice and simple, pre-made, put together in what, less than, less than a minute. Just off to go and get some vegetables and fruits for my juice where possible obviously it's always recommended to get organic uh, and support your local farmers but on many occasions it's just not practically possible so I'm just off to a local supermarket see what they've got on offer to make a couple of Hulk juices I always try and incorporate a juice uh, into the day but again tend to work where possible with what's available uh, so I don't think I'm just gonna grab a couple of bananas a few apples uh, an avocado and some kale so my Hulk smoothie consists of some kale an avocado some coconut water some ice and three bananas We are the slow cooked curry that I made earlier, having it an hour and a half before my ride and yoga and then when I get back I'll have something light to eat uh, before bed. So just at the gym now, I'm about to start a 45 minute uh, spin on the bike uh, before yoga. I just finished yoga, um, really good session actually, buzzing, I think yoga does that, does that for you, loosens up all those tight bits within the body and clears the mind, and we did a lot on stability today so it's been, uh, been interesting, the amount of 
exercise that I've been doing and the, uh, the, the tension in my calves. So yeah, to home now to go and grab some food. It's fairly late, finished yoga. Normally really wouldn't eat this late of an, of an evening, uh, but particularly hungry. Washing this down with a glass of coconut water. So we've got uh, sweet potato, some of the curry that I made earlier on, and an avocado over there. I'm gonna go to bed in a second after uh, eating this and catch up on some reading. <laughs>